I'm going to use this garlic drawing that I just made and turn it into a drawing with varying line weight. So you're going to be making a few varying line weight drawings and the process for doing the contour line part is the same as we did earlier, so that's why I'm reusing this drawing, um, but the varying line weight part is a little bit different. So with the varying line weight, you want to create darker lines and lighter lines and choose where those lines should go. And as, um, as things proceed in space, they get lighter and grayer. This is called atmospheric perspective. So using this knowledge, I can make things in the back of my drawing appear lighter and things in the foreground appear darker. So as this clove of garlic goes back into space, it can lighten a little bit along the back edge and it should be darker in more of the fronter areas, um, the front areas. So also I can look at where the object is truly light and dark and draw these areas darker and the lighter areas actually lighter. So another way you can, um, thing you can do is enhance details by drawing them darker as well. So I'm going to use these materials, my 4B pencil. I have an 8 and 9B pencil. I have my white vinyl eraser, a kneaded eraser, sharpeners for my um, graphite pencils here. Different sharpeners. Make sure they're sharp. And so the first thing I'm going to do is decide, I think, where I'm going to make this lighter. And I can do that by taking my kneaded eraser and I'm going to flatten it into, it looks like a kind of flat thumb shape. And I can use that to rub along areas that I want to make a little lighter. And I'm rubbing along the back and it looks like it's a little lighter around here. Looking where it's kind of truly lighter, where there's highlights. And then I'm going to go in and darken some areas. I think I'll use my 8B pencil. And now you don't want really thicker lines, you want just darker lines. So I'm thickening, I mean, I'm sorry, darkening the lines that I want darker. There's all sorts of little lines in here, details. That I could get in here, but the important thing is to darken the area along the bottom. This is the base and also a point of interest that I'm going to try to highlight. And I'm also going to darken the lines going towards the bottom. Now, something I want to point out with the varying line weight is it's easy when you do this to stop short and forget to taper the lines into the rest of the work. The lines should be gradually faded into the rest of the work. The other lines. So I might draw these lines in first without tapering, but then you see how it's kind of stopped short. You want to pull that in so it goes from dark to light. Unless you see lines in here that don't do that, that are just dark and then light, then you want to follow those. But using this technique, if you're trying to get the illusion of things going back in space, you want to go from dark to light and taper. I can also use this to create, there's some darker areas at the top of my garlic clove where it's cut in because it creates a shadow. And you're not shading per se here, you're just darkening where you see lines that may create a shadow.
This object will also be darker at the base because this is where it sits on the ground and it would have a shadow. You're not drawing any shadows here, but you can imply that it's got a shadow and it's weighted by just making it darker at the base. There's actually some darker lines over here, darker areas of this form. It's a little darker on this side for me than the other side, so I can be a little truer to that. And then it lightens again. So going back and forth with your kneaded eraser, this is, I'm using my 8B pencil to really get in some darker areas. And you should see that this is starting to make things look um, like they have some depth. There's some darker details at the top of this form, so I'm not gonna leave it entirely light. So look at your form, see if it's looking relatively three-dimensional. It should look like it's kind of undulating a little bit here. But it should not look like things are um, not cohesive. It should look like the form is all one form. So if it's not looking like it's all one form, that it probably means that you need to taper some of your lines a little bit more and blend them together so that it goes from dark to light. Now you can also, with um, varying line weight, even erase out parts of the drawing pretty much almost completely, and our mind will complete the subject. So you can even like take an area that you think is like maybe the lightest and see if you can almost erase it off the page. Just to really push the value a little bit more. All right, so that's how you do varying line weight.